this training is with Chris and it starts on bottom trying to place a deep de la Riva hook on me so I extend my right leg put my weight on my left leg behind he's forced to readjust the grip and as he does so I pull my leg out I get away from his guard he holds my lapel and as he pulls I pummel my leg inside and go for the neon belly he tries escaping his hip so I jump to the other side almost like a reverse mount position but he's able to place me in the reverse half guard we switch guards he goes to half guard goes back to De La Riva I try removing my knee at least away from his shin he goes and hold me again on my collar to play half switch to the De La Riva and I go all the way to the other side making a very strong hook on his far leg with my left hook he tried inverting and going uh, under my leg but he saw that that didn't work quite as well and and then he framed my hip my, my neck away so I start walking to that side I he is really good at uh, guard retention so he was able to place me in the half guard position then he switched for a reverse de la Riva. I went to side control he turned to his side so I mount over his legs but I can't really quietly get on his hips once he goes on my knee and let go of my hip with his frames I go for the for the mount position but he doesn't stop he has really good guard retention as you can see he pushes my knee uses his hips to push my opposite knee as well so I go to the side control go back once again to the mount try to go high on him as he's uh, framing my knee and on my hips and then I start using both my arms to take one of his arms out and try to flat him more in like a traditional mount position where my foot is up but I saw that his arm was coming out so I go for the sit belt and then pull him to towards the back he doesn't stop there he again tries placing his back on the mat to get out I don't have any choking grips yet so that's really good that he does that for him He's able to peel my arm out, so I lock the wrist lock position, move to side control, pass my leg over, almost like in the arm lock position, the wrist lock is tight and I'm able to get the tap. He holds my collar, I pull guard, he controls my feet, I lock his leg into like a half guard, but since he's standing, I'm able to go back to the De La Riva position, he pushes my leg down, I put my foot on the floor and then place my De La Riva back in but he does a good job getting my hand out of uh, the collar so instead I grab his collar, push his collar down, go to the future guard what I call it, this invis invisible position in the De La Riva and I'm easily able to come up on top I have my leg beaten his leg and his hip so he tries to go for my elbow and I pummel my leg out I keep uh, my frame, my shin frame over his shin as he hip escapes to the side, I move to the other side with my neon belly. He stays on that side, so I go for the mount position. As he stays on the side, I try to frame his arm, but he does a really good job coming back into me, placing his hands inside of my legs to try to escape under my legs. But I lock my hand with an overhook on his arm, hold my leg, sit down, he comes up on top and I'm able to finish him on the Barato Plata position. Once again, I pull guard, go to the De La Riva and lock my footlock in the De La Riva position. He turns to the side and I go to the back. This is something very common. People always ask me, what happens when he turns to the side? You know, he's controlling my foot. So I go and grab the, the pants and go to the baby bolo instead. A lot of times I like doing that, um, uh, underhooking his leg as well, but this time I just did it fast and went with a regular grip, letting the ankle lock grip out. I go move on to the side control position, he frames my arm, he is not letting my, me take my arm out, as you can see, to attack my arm or to try placing me to the reverse triangle there. Now he's framing my arms to try to get back to guard. You can see that he starts turning to the side. I try to pull him back. He does a good job turtling to escape. I try placing my hooks in. He pulls my arm to throw me forward, but I'm able to get him down and pull him to the side. As that happens, I lock the, the choke, but he scoots down to get his neck free. The choke is not tight, so 
is able to do that uh, with certain not not so hard you know now that the choke is a lot tighter he's able to break my grip which he did a really good job you know caught me out of timing and I lock the arm lock instead he's really good defending as you can see he has really good defense positioning I attack the arm lock he comes up on top I'm able to lock the triangle the triangle was really tight because it's really big so I was able to get the tap 